why it makes me feel mad at myself that I'm not in the shape that I wish I could be. I would literally rather be naked than be wearing clothes that are too tight. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yep, that's me. Welcome to Try Moms. Today, we have gathered up some of our favorite moms and we are recreating iconic magazine covers. Are you ready to see it? Yes. Okay, please close your eyes. Okay. Uh, I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, okay. Oh, yes! I love this. I'm Kate Moss. Amazing. This is so fun. My name is Ariel. I am one of the Tri Moms. I became a mom three and a half years ago when my son Wes was born and my second Finn uh, just had his first birthday. What does she look like? Okay, Kate Moss, <laughs> she's on the cover of Playboy magazine. She looks amazing. It's a, a high cut bustier situation, super high heels. I mean, her boobs are up and out. That's gonna be difficult for me. I'm Allison Sanchez. I became a mom in 2017. Uh, my son Gabriel is four. And then I had my second Sadie uh, this year in 2021. She's eight months old. So she's that cute baby stage right now. <sighs> All right. I'm so worried. I like, uh... I've been Googling like, every magazine cover of women in bathing suits to like guess what I would be doing. And all of them, I was like, no, no, no. So, uh, all right. Oh, oh, well, this isn't that bad. <laughs> it's a bathing suit. Um, it is Heidi Klum. Yeah, I think this is gonna be fun. Heidi is doing this like gorgeous, like windswept, sandy look. Girl, we have a leaf blower. <laughs> I like that there's an arm kind of in front of her stomach. <laughs> I feel like it cuts it off a little bit. I was very, very nervous, and I still am a little bit nervous to be in a bathing suit, but I, I think it's gonna be fun. My name is Chrisanne Denham. I became a mom in 2020. Yes, yeah, she's a quarantine baby, um, but she's almost one, and it's so exciting. All right, take a look. Seriously, you have too much confidence in me. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be naked, basically hidden behind graphics. Uh, kill me now, please. And it's Kim Kardashian, what? No, 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 no. Everyone else was a surprise, but I texted you and asked you if you would be for this ahead of time. Yes, but it's kind of in a reality now. Like, why did I say yes? Like, look at me and look at her. I'm not ready for this, so you're gonna have to hold my hand and hold everything else so it can be in place. I have no idea how I'm gonna pull this off, but here we go. Hi, my name is Joey Ng. So about three and a half years ago, my boyfriend, who's now my husband, said oops and forgot to pull out, and that is how I became a mom. <laughs> that is so unlikely. I know, I checked my ovulation pattern. I was like, we're fine. And then four weeks later, I was like, I'm two days late and we definitely are pregnant. And? Congratulations, you're pregnant again. I am, oh my gosh. I am seven months pregnant and about once a week, I still ask my husband, are you sure you wanna be doing this? Like, do you wanna have another kid? Uh, Cause it's happening. Uh, I can look at it. Yeah. It's Blake! Oh, the other way! Oh my goodness, it's Demi Moore and she's fully naked. You know, I haven't seen my pubic mound in a few months. Like, I I feel bad for you guys that this is the magazine cover. I mean, she looks gorgeous and I'm already like, how can I like cover my back or like stick my butt out anymore? But um, all right, let's do it. I'm Rachel. I am the Try Guys producer, and I'm also a mother to two and a half year old twins. I know what I'm recreating today because I produced and directed this video, but I did ask Eugene to help me pick a magazine cover for me. I'm gonna do, per Eugene, this Billie Eilish photo. People had a big reaction to this. People overreacted to this. I forget what she was, 19 at the time, 20 year old woman who was just changing up her looks and stepping into a different identity and they lost their minds. She looks so serious, 
so sultry. And her boobs are phenomenal. I do not have phenomenal boobs. You know, I read that she wore baggy clothes because she was trying to hide her waist, which she was really insecure about. Holy hell, if Billie Eilish at 20 is insecure, what are the rest of us supposed to do? Allison, I wanted to ask you what it's like to be having your hair done. I feel like, you know, most of the time I am, you know, rushing out of the house with my hair in a bun and I don't get the time to do this. And so, yeah, it's really nice. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. I'm, I'm feeling, feeling less like, nervous. Yeah, I'm feeling like it'll be fine. I think when I'm actually like trying to get my like butt up in the air <laughs> and like do that pose, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a little nervous and people are yeah. staring at me. What have we got? Do you, what, this is yours? I think this is mine. The one with a bunny. I love <laughs> it. I like yeah. the ruching. Yeah, and the tie. And I like the sheer. I, like I think you should just wear the tail and the ears. Just the tail and the ears. <laughs> yeah. No, nothing else. Are there things that you are insecure about physically? Oh. Absolutely there are things that I'm insecure about physically. It's probably my thighs. You know, when I was working out a lot, I was feeling pretty good about it, but I feel like just as I'm getting older and not working out as much, the cellulite has sort of crept in. Part of my hip right here is just gonna be stretch marks, all stretch marks. You will not see me in shorts very often because I just, they're just not comfortable for me. <sighs> I think it's I think it's a little big. They were so big so and big. now they're so You remember how big <laughs> yeah, they were. I do. There's nothing left. There's nothing I do. left. Girl, I feel you. You know, I recently weaned and my boobs will never be the same. Uh it, it's it's a huge change. Biggest insecurity definitely since giving birth to twins is my belly. Like my midsection is where I like to hide. I was never one to rock six pack abs, never. I had a friend who gave birth to her daughter like a month before me and in her early postpartum journey, she was like, I think I see a little ab sticking out again. And I was like, damn, I did not see that even before kids. Um. I Simona, think that neckline is really life? flattering. Yeah. I'm just worried, I'm like worried about boob support a little bit. <laughs> there are about one million things that I'm insecure about physically right now. I'm probably 50 pounds heavier than I was when I got married. I have always been really insecure about my arms. Like I look back on pictures when I was like super thin and I'm like, why was I so upset about my arms? But even at the time I was like, I hate these arms. How are you feeling? I'm feeling a little bit anxious. Um, okay. I, I, yeah, I'm excited. All right. It. Well, let, let's see. So this, oh, this yes. yes. Oh, wow. I'm so jealous of your boobs right now. <laughs> it looks so good. I don't know. I, you know, I'm trying to like deal with my arms, deal uh -huh. with this part that comes uh -huh. with like all of that. Oh, I had the same thing where I was like, oh, and my thing, this is going to like fold over. So I know mine is mostly lingerie, but Chris Ann, you gotta check out your wardrobe uh, over okay, here. Okay, so ev this is everyone's wardrobe, and then here's my little tiny <laughs> section. Oh, no, just, you're wearing this just nude, yeah, just nude uh, bra and panties it's and a robe. It's the emperor's new clothes, is like, what you're wrong wearing. with this? <laughs> As a new mom, your body changes a lot. I would say the body part that I'm most insecure about are my boobs. First off, they're uneven because my daughter preferred my left left boob instead of my right boob. They're also very veiny and they have stretch marks and you know, one minute they can be ginormous and then the next they can be super flat. Like they have a mind of their own. I'm nervous. <laughs> You're okay. nervous. Let's see. Woo! Oh, hey. Yes, hello. Kim Kardashian. I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. I think it's a thong. Uh-huh. A thong and a little Looks great, looks great. How it is. Boobs to me are a symbol of femininity and being sexy. And I just don't feel like that right now. So I try to avoid it as much as possible because there are just so many other things that I have to deal with. But yeah, definitely my biggest insecurity. I think the thing that I'm most insecure about physically is reflecting on my 20s and seeing photos of myself. Like in my 20s, Living in New York, I feel like 
I can bag a dick if I wanted to. And now I'm like the end of that TikTok sound where it's like, I'm a potato. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> I think maybe you might be wearing my robe or I could have like a friend's Joey moment. I'm wearing all of your clothes. <laughs> okay. Do you feel comfortable? Um, you look comfortable. I'm at the phase of my pregnancy yeah. where it's like, whatever, I'm just yeah. existing. So I'll, I'll just exist like this Can't too. even see my feet. This was a wanted pregnancy as opposed to an oopsie pregnancy. But unfortunately, this pregnancy has been from hell. I've had hyperemesis gravidarum the entire time. It means I vomit everything I eat and drink. Becoming a mom has like made me like invisible or feel like completely unattractive. So that like, it's not necessarily a single part of my body, but just feeling like wallpaper in every room. I feel like I'm currently wearing more on my face than I am on my body. <laughs> that is true. Though. But um, I'm not even gonna think of the fact that like all of you can see my groin right now. <laughs> No, no, no. Um, Don't think of that. Yeah, the eye patch helps the serene feeling. Yeah, the eye patch is really nice. <laughs> like your body will face this direction, but just your face will turn towards me. <laughs> the booty has got to touch just the, the heel top of the stiletto. Okay. That's this is gonna be a workout. It is. <laughs> Have you been doing your spots? I have not been doing my spots, can't you tell? I thought going first was great. I had done the photo shoot before, Christina and I and, and Rachel had done a photo shoot before, so we were pretty comfortable with it. Joey and Allison were uh, probably a little bit more nervous because they hadn't done it before. I wanted to be super strong and like, this is fun. Oh, Ariel, <laughs> it looks so good. <laughs> But you know, sometimes it's not that fun. Sometimes it's hard. It's really physical and really like, you have to, to get those like emotions on your face, but you have to make it look effortless in your body. Oh yeah, her shoulders are a little forward. She's doing like the, this. How does she poke her chest out, poke her ass out, and round her shoulders? <laughs> and manage to kind of go like this. <laughs> and relax her jaw. Well, that's why I said just move around a little bit. <laughs> I got this feeling when I was in front of the camera that everything was great, that everything was looking awesome. You know, I had all my ladies around me. Oh, straight yeah. to camera. Yes! yes. Ariel! That's Homer. it. Homer! <laughs> Come on. Your thighs look just like Kate's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a yeah, one for one. Do. What's the meaning of bounce back or snap back when you're talking about postpartum? Bounce back is for most people, getting back to the weight that you were before you were pregnant. After having a, a difficult second pregnancy, I am a little bit kinder to my body. And one of the things that I did in pregnancy to, to kind of help me with feelings of lethargy and nausea was to work out. And so I think during my first pregnancy, it was not stressful because it was something that I did for myself. After my first pregnancy, I did bounce back really fast. But in my second pregnancy, I couldn't work out. It basically on bed rest, because I had a short cervix, that was particularly difficult emotionally for me. There was also this sense that I wasn't working out and that my body was gonna change forever and that I wasn't going to be able to bounce back from the second pregnancy in the same way that I did from the first. All right, I think we're good. We got Woo! Yeah. Yay! I am feeling excited, but nervous. I mean, I cannot believe I'm recreating Kim Kardashian's magazine cover out of all the people. She's very curvy. She has built this image of, you know, big boobs, big butt, and a small waist, and that's sexy. And if you can see me, I'm very, I'm just straight. So, how do I pose? Okay, you <laughs> look insane. Yeah, I know. Okay. Better than Kim. Oh my yeah. God, okay. stop it. So today I came out on set with a bandeau and everyone was hyping me up and everyone was making me feel comfortable. So I actually took off the bandeau and put pasties on. Oh my, my God. God. Ah, so perky, they look amazing. Most I'm insecure about, I'm like, hey. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Your boobs look exactly like oh, No way. My whole life I've been petite and so when I was pregnant there were so many 
different changes in my body. You know, I gained weight when I was pregnant and, and that's new to me too, because I've always just been so petite. And even like the weight now, like it's still with me, like I still carry it. I used to work out so much before I had a baby, but you know, these days I don't even have time to do that. So it's just trying to find that balance and again, embracing your new body. It's great to have some type of motivation, you know, be dedicated to eating healthy, working out, um, but I don't think you should put so much pressure on yourself because you just birthed a human and you need to appreciate your body and what it did. It's so good. I'm not gonna lie, I do like them. <laughs> right? Yes. yes! Like, and put a bar here. Yeah, yes. a bar here. <laughs> yeah, it I is. Love it. They're all so good. They actually came out good. Is that weird to say? I mean, like I never thought I would say I, I feel sexy naked in front of a camera, but I actually do. And I know we'll see if I'll regret it in about a day when I soak it all in. Who knows? So on you to look amazing. I, that was great. I feel so good. All right. Let's take off. Woo Being pregnant does give me more confidence in my body because there's no hiding this giant bump in front of me. Whereas when the baby is out and you're a lot more conscious about loose skin or not having a flat stomach, it would definitely be a lot harder for me to be shooting naked. You look insane. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's so good. Oh, we already got it. Wow, you look so amazing. We got it. <laughs> With my first pregnancy, I gained a lot of weight, even though my OB was actually quite strict about my weight gain. I'm only 5'2, but my husband is 6'5. And so she kept on keeping me on a tight leash with my weight gain in case the baby would be too large for my body. Even if I was one pound over what she would have recommended I be, she would say, like, you're one pound over, stay away away from the carbs, and I was like, one pound? I'm like, I could poop that out. Um, so I switched OBs this time. I'm so glad you did. Yeah, and I did expect from, you know, celebrity interviews or what you see on Instagram to go back to normal a couple months after like the fourth trimester, and it didn't happen that way. You know, people would tell me like, oh, you're breastfeeding, the weight will just melt away, and it didn't. It was one of these, right? they're so good. That? The lighting also the is like, oh my body actually yeah. looks like her. <laughs> it looks the same. It, really exactly. does. it looks same fantastic. This is so exciting. Thank you, You're everybody. Really okay, we're gonna try the closer you, one. I actually don't feel any pressure to bounce back after this final pregnancy because I know it's a complete fallacy. I mean, there will be bouncing and jiggling around, but it's not back. What am I bouncing back to? You know, your body is forever changed. Even your DNAs change because your baby leaves little pieces of them in you. Oh, you're so sexy pregnant. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. So good. Wow. I think we're good. Perfect. We got you them. Got them. Got them. Okay. You did it. Yes. We have to put on a latex skirt, but like, <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> They're putting cornstarch on my legs. I'm gonna pretend it's a massage. <laughs> the outfit this morning, I decided not to look in the mirror for a while, and I'm just gonna focus on producing the shoot. Like, well, I, it might go on, it's just so we don't rip it. <laughs> okay. Is this what you do when you put on latex? Like, for sexual purposes? Do you cornstarch up first? How does it look? Good. It does it? Amazing. So I'm wearing a like satin bodysuit and a latex skirt and everything is just very, very tight. It's definitely like wildly outside of my comfort zone and I'm just really wishing I had given myself something easier. Like I would literally rather be naked than be wearing clothes that are too tight. Look at how snatched her waist is though. I mean, she has hardcore core setting going on. Yeah. I don't know, y'all. I, once again, am asking myself, why in the world do I keep putting myself in these videos? This much skin tight stuff is not what I would have chosen for myself. Yeah, but you look amazing. Yeah, and for this one too, it okay. might help if you get so like, on your toes yeah. and yeah. like push your, your butt, butt out. Butt back, almost like suck in your cheeks to your teeth. 
Yeah. Like, imagine you it's like a hundred things. It's like a sour candy is in your mouth is her face. I can tell when like 10 people are standing there telling me to do like 10 different things that the photos are not going well. They're all trying to help. If I just like move my hips this way and put my hands this way and look up this way and move my eyes this way, but like it's not going great. Okay, suck on a sour candy, pop my left elbow, <laughs> pop my hip, go up, yeah. feel myself, Do it all. look at camera, soft eyes. You were it. it all. No, you got, you got it. it. You got See? the core. You have it. I stepped down for a minute and looked at the first round of photos and was horrified to see the amount of sweat under this latex skirt and immediately insisted that we blow dry under the skirt and go again because that cannot see the light of day. Oh yeah. Ooh, and chin yes. down a little bit. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, oh my God, Ooh. that's it. That was Rachel. Directly after having the girls, I had gallbladder disease. I wasn't able to eat or even drink water for like an entire week and a half. And I dropped a lot of weight really quickly after I gave birth because I was incredibly sick. And so people made a lot of comments like, oh my God, she bounced right back. But then as I like consumed food again and settled into motherhood and didn't sleep and was like, had like three month old twins, you know, the 10, 15 pounds just slowly settled back into my body. It was hard to feel like, oh, I dropped the weight. Oh wait, no, I didn't. Actually, here it is and this is my new normal. What's crazy is I still feel that pressure right now. Like I am very aware that out of everyone here today, my youngest kids are the oldest. Like I'm the person furthest away from pregnancy and definitely not the skinniest. Isn't that crazy that like that's a concern? Okay, yes. one of these will be okay. Yeah. Oh, there'll be more than okay. Yeah, there no, <laughs> there, there was many. You killed it. Yep. You crushed so it. They they look so good. Oh, All right. Do you want to play around with any more? No, no. I mean, I think we got it. Yeah, you look great. We got it. There are none that I love that I've seen. I haven't seen all of them, but we flipped through like right afterwards. It's just not my look. I have to accept that. Surely one of those is like totally passable. Excuse me while we just oil your entire body. <laughs> yeah, are you kidding me? The oil is really good. <laughs> I'm watching the other moms take their photos and I'm having a little bit of a hard time with it. I'm struggling a little. I feel like they all look like the model. Like I feel like some of them look better than the models and I don't think that I'm gonna look like that. I think it's really hard going last because I'm watching everybody do their shoots and I'm just like trying not to eat any pizza which has arrived and is delicious. So I broke down, I started sobbing. Rachel had to like pull me into a like room and be like, it's gonna be okay. Do you need to like wear a shirt over your bathing suit? And I'm trying to be brave and not do that. I don't know why it makes me feel mad at myself that I'm not in the shape that I wish I could be. I know that I just had a baby eight months ago in a pandemic. One in between, mm -hmm. one on the outside. Baby. Yeah. I would do it other, other, other way. way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then turn to the front you as just, much as you can. And you jump back. Yes. yes. There it is. <laughs> of the camera, getting these photos taken. In some ways it's really fun and glamorous, but uh, I also am struggling with the position. Everybody's giving me this great advice and being like, put your butt up, move your arm that way. And I'm like, I don't know that humans move like that. Oh my God, yes! you're so incredible. Lean into oh your butt. Yeah, move it. And push up on your shoulders. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. yes. Another big smile, like laugh, like throw your head back. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me? That was so Are you kidding me? Yes! So do it again, let's all fake laugh. Okay. On. One, yeah. two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trusting all these other moms, all these other professionals to tell me exactly how to place my arm, exactly, you know, how to pop my hip. And so it's a lot of trust right now and um, I'm really excited to see how it turns out. That smiling one oh, is to kill for. Oh, the smiling ones are so good. Oh, it's so good. Hard to see my body. <laughs> no, you look so good. Oh my God. I feel really mixed. Parts of the photos I think look great. Parts I feel like look worse than I expected them to look. I think I came into this thinking, I'm gonna look at these photos and I'm gonna say like, wow, I look 
much better than I thought. And there are some of these photos that I'm seeing that I'm like, I look worse than I thought. It's so valued, like all these pictures and like, you know, magazines of like women after baby and you know, the headlines are like, had a baby three months ago and look at her tight, tight stomach. I definitely, you know, wore like flowy shirts because after you have a baby, like your stomach doesn't go back down for a while. You still look like five or six months pregnant. And I was so afraid of like anybody seeing that, even though that's literally what every woman's like the thinnest woman in the world is still gonna have a belly right after she had a baby. I mean, after my first, I didn't bounce back. These look ones, these. these look at that. <laughs> I do have a sense of relief um, because I feel really proud of myself. Knowing that I can proudly put myself out there makes me feel great and I hope that my kids can see that and see that I was proud and excited and loved the me that I am since I had them. Having gone through this one time, there's just a general sense of dread. I was riding this high, and now I get to see the actual photo, and I have to look at them on a huge screen side by side and compare my thighs and <laughs> body to Kate Moss. I almost want to just look at mine and not hers. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh-huh. Yep, that's me. It looks cool. I don't have spidey stretch marks, but if you, you see here, my boobs are the same size as my stomach. <laughs> but yeah, it's great. I love my hair. I, th I think that, I mean, hair and makeup did such a good job. That was so fun. Um, I was expecting to be a little bit more horrified with this area. It's fine. It's fine. I'm glad I got a spray tan. Covered up some of the veins and stuff. My butt looks like a beach ball. Like, I, and that's good. That's a good thing. Yes, my thighs are thick, but like, I don't know. I've got some like roundedness here that I'm very proud of. I would be so into it if like stretch marks, certain things that, that are kind of ubiquitous with pregnancy and, and motherhood just became normal and beautiful uh, instead of hiding them and instead of pretending that they don't exist. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Um, since it's been a week, I have been downing myself. I have actually been regretting that I was fully, I mean, almost nude. And I just don't know how my family is gonna take these pictures. And I'm just hoping that it's not as uh, risque as I am thinking in my head. <sighs> I fear that I'm not gonna look good. I mean, I am recreating Kim Kardashian. That is just hard to do, especially me as a new mom. I have a new body. I'm embracing all my flaws. I am just so nervous and and I don't know. I feel like I failed. I, I, I'm scared of failing. Oh my God. Okay. It actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I will say I'm not happy with my body. I feel like, I think because I was looking at Kim and I was looking at all her curves and I, here I am just like, you know, I told you guys that I'm insecure about my boobs, but I'm also insecure about my skin. My skin has changed throughout my whole, you know, pregnancy and motherhood journey, my hormones we're going insane. My skin doesn't look perfect here, but you know, I'm happy to show that because that's just the real me. I'm proud of my body and how it looks in this picture. And even though I am just pick pointing every flaw that it has, I'm very proud of it. And that's just, that's who I am. I'm stoked to see how it all turned out. I know you guys will be fabulous at replicating this cover, and I feel like I only played a very small part in making this all happen, so thanks again. Ah! Who is she? I don't know her. Oh my goodness. Is that my butt? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, more jelly. <laughs> <laughs> there isn't a single part of me that you can't see. So this is all, this is all of me. I feel so emotional seeing this. I don't know why. It's like so exciting. I look like a hot person, which I haven't felt like in a really long time. So I actually think my body looks 
better than I imagined. Like in my mind, it's like when I'm pregnant, I'm bloated and uncomfortable or I've just been vomiting. Definitely captured me at my best angles. And I'm so happy that the Tri Moms chose not to do any body retouching because it's a reality check that one, we don't need it, and two, this is a real person, this is a real mom, this is my body somehow. I wasn't thrilled with any of the photos I took. Not a single one was I like, oh damn, there it is. And that is something that I've been like digesting over the last week. I can't tell you how many times I've cried over this photo over the last week, which sucks, but I'm sure the world will think it's fine, but I don't. However, I do know that like I'm my harshest critic and no one else will be as critical of me as I am of myself. So this is the photo I was trying to recreate. Billy, do you think Billy was sweating under there? Surely. I picked it. I know what it looks like. Um, I don't love it. It's okay if you love it because you're easier on me than I am on me and you're probably harder on you than I would be on you. I just feel like my biggest insecurities are on full display. That's the crazy part to me. That's why I've been asking myself this whole time. I like made a couple of humans. Why do I wish that I looked like I had not? I wish that the physical changes of motherhood were seen as beautiful and worthy, um, even a goal, and that our number one thing to do after having a baby was not to like erase or hide or cover up the changes that we went through in order to have the baby. I just don't think that is good for us or our sense of self-worth or our bodies after going through this super huge change. I, I've been doing a lot of processing about this experience and trying to figure out why I can't see myself the way the other women saw me. I mean, after I did this shoot, like the makeup artist, the you know hair artist, were like, you should actually think about modeling. I don't wanna hate my body, this is the one I have. It is as youthful as it's ever going to be. I'm just gonna keep getting older. <laughs> so, you know, I think um, I really hope that I feel good about it. I hope that I have a little bit of peace with it too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, my body is not exactly what I would love, but I think I, I think I look nice. I think um, it's crazy to like see myself in a bathing suit. If my husband took a picture of me on the beach, I would be like, oh, delete that. My arms don't look as bad as I thought they were gonna look. I'm not loving what's going on with my stomach. It's also like, I don't know, it's a nice picture, it's pretty. <sighs> Trying to say great. I'm like, it's like as if, <laughs> it's like as if it's fighting in my mouth. I'm like, say it, say it, say it looks beautiful. Um, <laughs> Having done this experience, having done something that terrified me, I have come out of this being like, damn, I am brave. I am beautiful. I am worth all of the things I want to be worth. One thing that it really like was special about this experience was the way we all supported each other. Everybody's, you know, confidence and love and support and telling me how great I look. I could never have done this without everyone's support. And I think the more we support each other and our bodies, the easier it'll be to be like, you know, I look like this. I had some babies. The group photo was my favorite because we all just sort of stood around and hugged each other and told each other that we were beautiful. Being around other moms and celebrating our bodies and celebrating the changes and the, you know, our kids. It's just really fun and inspiring and empowering. We could all learn to appreciate how our bodies are a lot more. Every woman, whether they're pregnant or not, should give the gift. Take those photos, treat yourself, get your hair done, get your makeup done. Give yourself the chance to just feel beautiful and do something for yourself. My biggest takeaway is that a photo is just a photo, it's just a photo. I enjoyed 
doing lots of parts of this. I don't love the results, but you know, maybe there's a reason I'm not wearing satin latex every day. You know, I'm always up for a challenge and I just hope one day I can look back at this picture when I'm old and wrinkly and think, oh yeah, I did that. I look like that after having a baby. Ready, set, open. Oh. Look at the smizes going on. Like, Rachel, your brow is just like. The brow is floating. I mean, you were like full on center. Yeah. Like, I I'm here yeah. and. I mean, I'm just glad we did this all together. Yeah, me too. I, I, know. Know. I, 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 I wouldn't have had the courage to do this like on my own. Point of no return, where you're like, I did this. They're not going to be able to get somebody else at the last minute. Like, exactly. I have to do this. And it, you know, and then it was really fun. I do think someone should call us for some sort of girl band. That'll be the next thing we try. We make a girl, girl band? We make a record. Oh, I yeah, would actually party. love that. Yeah, yeah, I would love learn. that. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you're taking it next level, but I'm but down. this will be the flyer. So yeah. like, this yeah, is what people are, are expecting. <laughs> Five different flavors of mom for you today. We have... Old mom, <laughs> twin mom, scary mom, cheese mom, <laughs> five layer cheese mom. <laughs>